Hey there, welcome to my Wednesday video and uh, I'm telling you right now I'm not recording this from outside like I often do because this Jekyll and Hyde weather we've been having here in Wisconsin uh, a few days ago it was in the 40s I think 50s and then yesterday it spiked to the mid 70s I actually did my uh, run outside in shorts for the first time in forever um and then rain came and storms came through and this morning we were woken up to um 20 degree lower with wind chill weather and snow so yeah that's just the kind of yo-yo effect we got going on here and i'm doing this from the warmth of the house because i can and i think i've proven my uh commitment to outside by recording these in snow and other conditions in the past anyway Hope you're doing well. Uh, I've been thinking about different topics and I got some feedback lately on things to talk about. And I think it's best when I talk about some sort of theme versus just general updates. And today, I uh, something that popped in my head is um, just talking in general about description in your writing um, and kind of what is too much or what is not enough. Obviously, like lots of things, the ultimate answer to that is it depends. But... I think uh, when I when I think back to the many things that kind of tripped me up while writing over the years and what probably kept me so long away from completing things and, and, and publishing something was I had this this overwhelming sense when I was writing that I was supposed to describe the surroundings with great detail um, and description, whether it's nature and weather to, you know, city scenes and all that. And I would get hung up on that. And I wouldn't know what to say. And I read books that did an amazing job on it. But I myself, the words would not come to me. And then there'd be times that I that would just like completely stymie my whole creative process. I've come to realize that you don't, there's no right or wrong answer to that. It's really the kind of pace and story that you're trying to tell. Um, those of you that are read or familiar with my trilogy of books, the Gamma Trita series, um, know that they're shorter books, like 123 pages is Gemini Girl, and they get a little longer each time, but they're all in that novella range. And I finally had to just get to a point I understood in myself that if I get bogged down in description, it's just with that little real estate to work with, it's going to just not work. It's going to be either slow or stilted or boring. And certainly with Gemini Girl and in, in, in the sequels, I wanted them to be fast paced on purpose, like somebody running for their life. So I didn't, wasn't going to sit there and take the time to uh, overly describe the cyberpunk world around them. Even though, I mean, honestly, I wish I had the words to do that more, but I figured I'd leave it up to the reader and I would just kind of touch the high points. And I'm happy to say, based on the reviews I've gotten and just some of the general feedback, that that felt like the right tone. I've had people in their reviews say things like, it's just like, like I leave it up to the imagination. I of the reader i um paint just enough picture to get them the idea and something in their head that evokes things from anywhere from blade runner to total recall but i don't overdo it i don't get hung up on the the exposition of talking about some place and i don't know that was really satisfying to me because i did i don't like i said i don't really have that in me to begin with so it, this comfort level or this realization that i don't need to go to that level to write good fiction and I don't think anybody does, but there's also a place for that. I mean, there's maybe longer books or things where you just really want to immerse the reader into the setting. That's okay too. But I guess what I'm saying here is that's not this hard and fast rule like I once thought. Um, go with what's comfortable, know your audience, know the story you're trying to tell, the pace of what you're trying to tell, and work accordingly. One of the things I was thinking about with this is just like, I get inspiration from so many different places, but uh, if you go to my blog, um, I'm going to say it in a lot more words than I'm going to say here in the remaining seconds of this video, but I've gotten hung up playing video games like Cyberpunk, just looking at the scenery and imagining my stories and settings like that. And that's kind of what got me to where I am now. And um, I think similarly, that's a video game. So there's obviously you're looking at visuals, but um, I think trusting your your reader's imagination and giving them just enough to spur that feels at least for me like the right level of depth to go into but ultimately make it your own and and realize there's many different ways to do things and thanks as always for listening and we will talk again soon